Hey guys, this is Edge from NNT. Um, this video is a guide to voting on Neo N3, the goal being to answer the most common questions about governance and walk you through the voting process. We'll start out with a quick overview of how Neo's governance works, and then we'll run through the voting process using NeoLine and the governance.neo.org page. Uh, once we've got that vote locked in, we'll go over the other things that you should probably know about managing your vote and how to get hold of your gas rewards. So as of the N3 launch, NEO tokens can finally be used for their intended purpose. NEO is the governance token of N3, used to decide which node candidates should take up the mantle of council member. By voting for a candidate, you cast the weight of your stake in the NEO network behind your chosen representative. When a candidate enters the top 21 nodes by vote weight, they become a member of the NEO council. Of those 21 council nodes, the top 7 are the consensus nodes who actively process new transactions and blocks. If a consensus node fails, the next in line council node steps up to take its place. Together, these 21 entities are responsible for maintaining the blockchain, working together to elect oracle nodes, keeping blocks being produced, and modifying key parameters. When one of these parameters needs to be updated, say if uh, fees need to be adjusted against gas price changes, the council would reach majority agreement on what the new value should be, and then they'll sign a transaction together, commit it to the blockchain, which then sets the value for future blocks. Underlying this process are economic incentives, which are used to try and keep the system stable and everyone performing uh, a role that is in the best interest of the network. So we have council nodes who receive gas for performing their role, uh, with each receiving an even split of 10% of each new block's reward. Another 10% of the block reward is split proportionately between all NEO token holders. That's regardless of whether or not they actually participate in governance. So that means all addresses on NEO3 with a balance will slowly uh, accrue gas that they can use eventually on the network. The remaining 80% of block reward is allocated to voters. Those are NEO token holders who are actively participating in governance by successfully voting for one of the top 21 nodes. This means that not only does each vote help safeguard the network and steer its growth in a hopefully decentralized manner, but it also gives you access to an increased rate of gas generation. Gas rewards depend on the number of votes a candidate has and whether or not the candidate is currently a council node or a consensus node. From the 80% of block rewards allocated to voters, for gas at today's reward rate, half of that is evenly split between the 7 consensus node voter groups and half is evenly split between the 14 council node voter groups. How much of that gas you will actually receive per block depends on the number of other voters for your node. Um, so you can calculate that yourself, but if you want to avoid doing the math, the easiest way to see this right now is by hopping onto the Neo.org voting portal, where it can show us the estimates based on our current Neo balance and the node that we're looking to vote for. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and cast a vote. So as mentioned previously, we're going to be using NeoLine for this demo. So make sure you have imported your Neo Legacy account into the wallet and created a new Neo3 wallet on uh, NeoLine as well. So here we are on the governance.neo.org page, which has the network overview and the list of candidates that are currently live on the network. Here we can see some information about the network, we can see the number of NEO voting, and we can see both the default council and the various network settings. These are the parameters that the council will be able to change, such as the gas per block or the execution fee factor. In the list of candidates, we can click on a candidate to see some more information about them, or we can go ahead and connect our wallet and connect with NeoLine for this example. We've just got to go ahead and hit the connect button here with the correct wallet loaded. So let's have a little scroll down and look for the new news today node. There it is. So we're going to be using this for our example. And we can see that it's going to be about 0.03 gas to vote. And we can see our estimated 24 hour gas generation. So it's not going to take too long with uh, this wallet with 5 NEO to be able to cover the fee that it's spending here. Here we can see a little bit of information about the transaction, the data, the scope that it's being signed with and such. You don't need to worry too much about that. NeoLine figures out the fee for you, so you can just go ahead and submit that transaction. So you can wait for maybe 5-10 seconds and then go ahead and refresh your page. And if the next block has come in, then you should see that your current vote has updated.
And there we are, we can see that my current vote is for the near news today council node. We can see the number of votes that it has right now. We see our estimated gas generation. And there is also a little tracker here above the, uh, the gas counter, which shows the number of unclaimed gas we have. We can also come back down into here and just use the same process to vote for another node if we so choose. Unlike a lot of other proof of stake systems, NEO tokens are never locked while the user is participating in governance and there are no penalties or slashing mechanisms. Your weight in governance is always determined by your current NEO balance on a per block basis. So if you receive more NEO in your account or if you reduce your balance to zero, your share of gas rewards for those blocks will update to reflect the changes. Another key difference from NEO Legacy in N3 is that gas claims are performed whenever NEO is transferred. That goes for both inbound and outbound transfers of NEO. You can perform a claim manually by performing a transaction, receiving NEO, or by manually using a claim interface if your choice of N3 wallet provides one. Currently, Neon Wallet is the only one with an actual claim button you can use. If you wanted to change your vote, you can come back to the voting portal at any time to change for another candidate. In the future, you may also see some Neo wallets which provide their own in-wallet interfaces for casting votes. And that's going to be everything today. I hope that's answered all of your questions about Neo3's voting mechanism, and I hope to see you in the next video.